Cognac is the world's most popular style of brandy, and we Americans are its biggest fans. As a matter of fact, the United States accounts for half of the world's exports. That said, there's still a bit of mystery to the category, and perhaps some confusion as to what it is exactly. So let's go over a few basics to get you started. Cognac is a type of brandy that is made within a designated region, aptly named Cognac, in the southwest of France. There are strict regulations regarding the production of how and where Cognac is made, so it can't be made just anywhere. The grapes used have to be grown and harvested in Cognac. Uni Blanc grapes are the most commonly used, but there are a few others that are allowed. These white grapes are low in sugar and high in acidity, and while they don't make a great wine to drink, they do make great wines for Cognac. The Cognac region covers over 78,000 hectares divided into six growths, or crus, where grapes are grown. Each cru has varying distinctions and their own personalities. One thing to note, if the Cognac label states a region on it, all of the Cognac in the bottle must hail from that region. This is the most regarded region, and it produces light, fine Cognacs, which require long aging. Cognacs made here are similar to Grand Champagne, but they don't have its finesse. This region requires shorter aging than either Grand or Petite Champagne, and it produces round and fine Cognacs. The other three crews are the Fenbois, which is the largest crew in Cognac, the Bonbois, and the Bois Ordinaire. After a wine is made, it's double distilled in a Charente copper still no higher than 72% ABV, creating eau de vie. Oak is used to age the eau de vie with French oaks such as Trancé and Limousin, the most traditional choices. The type of oak, the grain, and the humidity of the cellar all play an important role in the maturation process. Often, the oak barrels will have previously aged cognacs for maturation. However, other types of used barrels that aged a non-wine product, such as whiskey, cannot be used. To be called cognac, it must be aged a minimum of two years. You don't often see age statements, but they do occur from time to time. More often, you'll find these terms instead. BS cognacs are aged for a minimum of two years and account for half of all cognac sales. BSOP cognacs are aged for a minimum of four years. XO Cognacs are aged for a minimum of 10 years. Perhaps one of the most overlooked areas in making a cognac is the blending. A master blender must select eau de vie from varying ages and varying crews. Each year, the harvest can vary, but the master blender's job is to create a consistent product for their consumers around the world. It is important to understand that the larger brands often don't own all or any of their own vineyards, make their own wines, or even distill much of their own eau de vie. They'll often have contracts with winemakers and distillers to create products to their own specifications. This is a common occurrence for most brands. The largest cognac brands that have the greatest share of the cognac market are Remy Martin, Cuvassier, Martel, and Hennessy. You'll likely begin your cognac journey with one of these brands. But as each cognac house has its own style, you should try different brands to determine which you prefer. Some other notable makers to try are Pierre Ferrand, Hein, Delamon, Park, and Camus. And that's just for starters. While most people think you should only drink cognac neat, in fact, globally, 80% of cognac is consumed in cocktails. Usually, the younger cognacs, like the VS or the VSOP, would be used for these applications. A few cocktails to try include the Sidecar, the Sazerac, and even a mint julep. But don't be afraid to try ginger ale or club soda with your cognac for a refreshing aperitif. To learn more about spirits, head on over to distiller.com or download the app on your mobile device.